Scorpios, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for July 26th through the 31st. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. The Fool just popped out, so some of you might be ready to take a new leap of faith or have, you know, a brand new beginning. But once again, it's going to be a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and rising signs. Um, if you want something more tailored to your own situation, link is in the description box below. So let's take a look, see what you can expect. The Fool. Oh my God, I literally shuffled it like eight times and the Fool still came out. The Five of Cups. Victory. The Star. Justice. Ten of Wands. The Hermit. Ooh. The Lovers. Ten of Swords. Okay. So from what I'm seeing, this, the signs I'm seeing off the bat are Gemini, Aquarius, um, Virgo and Libra. So some of you are ready for a new start, ready for a new leap of faith. This fool right here only has like his necessities and he's ready to have a new beginning of some sort. Something has just been balanced out. The justice card is a card all about reaping what you sow. Some of you want to take a leap of faith towards a Libra. Um, it really just depends, but you're leaving behind sadness, leaving behind regret, leaving behind disappointment because with the five of cups, something didn't go the way, you, the way that you expected. And this is something that caused major change in your life. With the Three of Cups, these cups have been spilled, but the, the, because of the fact that the two here are still up, the situation is still salvageable if you choose to. But you are in that soul-searching stage where you're going within, kind of like isolating yourself from people, not really as open to, you know, socializing as usual. But this is all because it's a process. You're going to go through a process and it's going to lead you to victory. This might be soul victory. Usually in the other six of wand cards, there's like people in the background. But this may have been a selfish victory that led to disappointment and regret. It could have been on the person that you're dealing with. If they had some type of selfishness towards you, um, then whoever's feeling sad or burdened is the one that is trying to have a new beginning and moving past that. With the star card, you do have a lot of hope. You have been patient when it comes to someone that you have a deep connection to. This is a strong connection that um, it's really hard to get rid of. Like I feel like the lovers is a relationship where even if you try to leave, you keep having that on and off basically dynamic because you two can't stay away from each other. There could have been a permanent ending or some type of betrayal that happened. If someone was betrayed in this situation, they were stabbed in the back so many times to the point where they were dead, to the point where the situation was no was no longer um viable there was no lazarus effect happening here and because of the retrograde we do have the tendency to see exes or feel emotions that are tied to exes but you are feeling burdened in some type of way still feeling stressed out feeling like you're carrying a lot of weight this um this weight that you feel it's going to push you into this hermit mode so that you can go within and really heal what's bothering you from the inside let me get another deck so I can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. I feel like someone may have made the wrong decision in this scenario because because of the fact that you have victory, there wouldn't be victory tied to sadness and regret unless it was something that was done selfishly. And someone here was trying to be patient, trying to wait it out, trying to have hope, into, uh, trying to have hope in the situation. But because of the re repeated betrayals and the repeated like behavior patterns, someone may have decided to walk away and take a leap of faith. This could have been a Libra, and this in turn led to burden. So let's get more messages in this. Why is the fool here? Because of juggling. Someone could have been juggling two people, maybe juggling situations, not really invested in something. When you're not invested, you kind of like take on this juggling energy or when you don't have an, a balance when it comes to your life, your work, um, and yourself as well, the two of pentacles will come out. But I feel like whoever was juggling people and having this arrogant um, demeanor about it is the one that had justice brought to them because the only the only time you see the justice card is when it's time to reap what you sow and with the two of cups someone's having regret in regards to a partnership there was someone that you were seeing eye to eye with at some point you had a deep connection that started off from a friendship stage and it grew to something deep like a soulmate connection even 
but like I said, there was an ending. This this ending for some of you isn't permanent, but for others it is. So if you know that this situation isn't able to be resurrected, then that's probably you're probably in the half that that message relates to. But with the six of wands. Someone decided to take action and move forward. The King of Wands is someone who has that entrepreneur vibe with them. This is someone that is really action-oriented. Someone that could be a fire sign, Leo Aries Sag. Um, you thought you'd have victory when it came to this person. But as time went on with the Knight of Cups, um, I feel like someone may have been offering their cup of love to you or vice versa. You were offering your cup to someone else. And um, despite the fact that there, were, there was a strong connection, they decided to betray you over and over and over again, which in turn led to someone um, taking a leap of faith some elsewhere. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like the karma to this was the person that decided to juggle people isn't going to have long-term stability for a long time. Because this connection could have been where um, the universe was trying to give you that long-term stability. But someone ended up dropping the ball, either by juggling other people or by not taking the situation seriously. So in turn, this is going to be your karma, um, dealing with instability for a while until you heal yourself from the inside. Why is the Ten of Cups here? I said Ten of Cups, so this is something that has to do with a family member or someone that was your family. For example, ex-wife, um, ex-girlfriend, someone that you had a strong connection to. Someone decided to no longer fight for this connection. The Seven of Wands this way is usually someone fighting, but on this, on this side, it's someone giving up, no longer putting the fight and walking away. And now you're seeing, you or the person that you're dealing with is seeing that there was really effort that was put into this from actions. Someone really carried the weight of the relationship and they got tired of it and ended up walking away. Excuse me. Why is the Hermit card here? Because of the Three of Pentacles. There was a lack of teamwork in this. And I feel like if, if the person you were dealing with was just so arrogant that they were unable to see that they weren't putting work in, they're definitely seeing that now. Or they're being pushed into that isolation mode, that dark night of the soul mode, so that they can really go within and see all the work that was put in. Why is the Lovers here? The Lovers and the Ten of Swords, because there was some type of betrayal or permanent ending with someone that you have a strong connection to. Whoever this person is, um, you've decided to close the door on them, or vice versa, they've done that to you, because they're tired of, tired of the pain that this relationship causes them, and you're deciding to turn their back. You or the person you're dealing with has decided to turn their back, and you are the emotionally fulfilled person. The King of Cups is someone who is emotionally fulfilled, someone who is mature, um, someone that knows how to navigate through their emotions, someone who, you know, is a perfect match from what I'm seeing, or at least they were. You are in this Knight of Cups energy, um, but the person you're dealing with is in the King of Cups, so I feel like this is someone that wanted marriage. If this was you, you wanted the marriage, and... The other person you were dealing with wasn't taking you seriously, but that's what I see. There was a lack of teamwork here, but someone else is having a new start. Meanwhile, the other person is regretting their actions. So just pick and choose which side of the spectrum you're in and stick to it. So let's see if I can give you another deck for um, best advice. Best advice moving forward. The King of Cups and the Three of Wands. So remember this King of Cups here? The person that you betrayed? The best advice here is either to go towards them or to take some type of action towards them because this person put in a lot of effort and I feel like the least that they can do if the cross watcher is the one that I'm talking to, um, the least that they can do is apologize, maybe make things right in some sort of way because I feel like there really was someone here um, it usually takes two to tango, but there are certain scenarios where there is someone that has majority of the blame, you know? In the Eight of Wands, we have um, communication. So you're really being told to communicate with whoever this King of Cups is if it's an apology that's required in order to move forward. Because, because like I said, with this Justice card, you're reaping what you sow at this time. So you won't be able to go without communicating with this person. You won't be able to apologize, for one, um... When you don't, when you refuse to do things like this, the universe will force you in another way. For example, you'll have anxiety, you won't be able to sleep at night, you'll be thinking about this all the time. So the best thing that you can do is address the situation so that you can move forward. But that's what I got. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!